today is my rest day. But I'm still doing my little yoga challenge, so I'm gonna do a 30 minute power vinyasa vlog. Good. Truly, it's such a nice way to start the day. It's so much more relaxing on my rest days than, than my other very intense tennis and gym mornings. But I wanted to just have a peaceful morning and go straight into my smoothie because I have an updated smoothie recipe to show you. But we actually have someone coming and he's gonna be here soon. So I have to just briefly say hello and interrupt my, my little morning sequence because lots of things going on today, which is why I wanted to bring you along for a little little day in the life vlog switch it up from the weekly vlog because absolutely nothing happened this week but today is friday and it's a nice little busy day some exciting things going on so i'm just going to show you the closet room right now before the man gets here so i can briefly talk about what is happening so if you guys recall this is this is the closet room aka my main filming room really this is where i kind of just do all my filming and work for the most part so uh, very echoey. We still need to figure out the rug situation because that didn't help anything. But one thing that we thought would help with A, the echo, and B, another kind of backdrop option was to install curtains on this wall. So I'm going to flip the camera really quickly. Here's the window in the closet room and here's the door that enters. And this is where I keep my mirror. Hello. And it's kind of just ugly and gross. One thing we've never done is fix the baseboard from when we had the hardwood put in but this is a wall here that's kind of for the most part like a little bit unusable as far as taking photos and videos go and the idea is that we want every corner of this room to kind of be functional and usable in terms of making content so what we've decided to do is put in curtains so we ordered these from ikea they're the extra long ones we actually had to order them from the states because they were not available on the canada site or in store so we got some rails we got some curtains and we are going to hang up curtains all along this wall and hopefully it will help those two things. So we're really excited. We actually hired the task rabbit because honestly, left to our own devices, could we attempt to do this? Yes, we watched many videos on how to simply screw it in, but it was $45 for the task rabbit guy. And I was like, you know what? That is worth it. I don't want to destroy the ceilings in our beautiful house if anything goes wrong. Like we have, we have ruined many of things by trying to DIY and attempt things ourselves. And if I can avoid destruction of a very um not cheap newer home then i would like to avoid that so he's about to get here and he's going to be installing the curtains and hopefully after i will be able to show you a beautiful little after so with that lab done now we can continue our morning sequence <laughs> so this morning i'm going to show you my updated little smoothie recipe it's not anything too crazy it's not anything too crazy but it's delicious and i've been enjoying it and i thought it would be worthwhile to show you <laughs> starting with a spinach nugget <laughs> Whenever I buy a bag of spinach, I, I never go through it in time. It always goes rotten and it's such a waste and it's so sad. So I started buying frozen spinach nuggets, adding more greens into our little smoothies. Then uh, someone was like, add broccoli or cauliflower into your smoothie and it'll help with whatever fiber and things. And I was like, you know what? More vegetables, no problem. So also putting frozen cauliflower in. Then we've got frozen berries, which this is not my preferred mix. I don't like the strawberries, so I've actually been sifting through and picking the strawberries out. <laughs> also frozen berries over fresh berries because ain't no one spending $12 for a little thing of blackberries, okay? So here's our frozen mixture thus far. Then in that, I'm adding my athletic greens. I've got my creatine powder, which I've been taking every day since I started DIY Body at the end of 2022. It's one of my daily supplements that I don't talk about all the time. Then for a little bit of extra flavor, I've also been adding in this Gorilla Mode EAA essential amino acids. I still don't understand fully what the amino acids are, but from the few videos I've watched, there's people who are really against it or really for it. And I was like, you know what? This is jungle juice flavor. So it just makes it taste really good. If it helps in recovery by any means, sure, I'm down. So I take about half a scoop of that. Normally I also add chia seeds to this, but I am currently out and I like to order ground chia seeds. That's my little smoothie, add water. And then we blend. Now I would like to note that this is not my entire breakfast, but this is just a way for me to get my greens in without having to take like this by itself with water because the taste is absolutely foul to me. <laughs> I'm getting all my greens in here. I'm getting some healthy goodness and fruits and fiber. And it's kind of just like my morning little gut, healthy, happy beverage mixture. And this is how I've been trying to start my day lately. 
I know we talked about no longer doing this in our hair health video, but I just, I tried, I tried. It's just not gonna happen for me. It's too, it's too far gone. 30 years deep doing this, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Really quick skincare update for you. I've squeezed every last morsel out of my Embroilé Silicone Concentré, which I love so much. And so many of you, so many of you over the years, it's probably been years, plural. Uh, every time I talk about face cream, you're always like, you need to try this brand. Do, 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 do. Why is it all French? <laughs> this one. Instant Angel Lipid Rich Moisturizer. Okay, so many of you have told me to try this. I have seen it on TikTok so much. And I was like, okay. Sure, I ordered it to my P.O. box and I have pulled this out. I've been testing it out. It's been like a week, a week of me using this. She's supple, she's supple, she's beautiful. It has a smell like, it smells like a car shop. It's really not a pleasant smell. It's giving clinical or car shop. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I feel is right, but it's not like an irritating smell or anything. Like some of those really florally, heavily scented products can make my skin itch, but I've really been loving it. It feels amazing. My one complaint with this package is when you open it, like it all boils out. Like if you just accidentally squeeze this slightly harder than you intend to, all the product just goes into the lid. So it's really, finicky but uh, the branding is really beautiful and clean and nice and yeah I've really been enjoying it it's also very sticky and tacky so if you're like me and you're kind of getting rid of some areas in your makeup routine and you want a really nice moisturizer that's going to sit well under makeup this has been beautiful so there's a little little skincare update for you so the sweet man is still here and I needed to get cracking on getting ready. So I just hopped in the shower. I finished curling my hair. I tried something different with the part today. I parted it in the middle instead of setting it and pinning it down the center. Uh, so we're gonna see how this turns out. This will be an experiment, which I actually have an event to go to tonight, which is why I'm doing my hair all fancy like. And it's not good to experiment before an event. I would not recommend. But until we can go get dressed and finish getting ready together, I came downstairs because I need to talk to you about the food cycler. Now, if you missed my little chat in December, I mentioned to you that we had been on the hunt for some solution for our food waste. Our compost bin is disgusting. In the summertime, especially when it's warm outside, it's just like the smell is unbearable. The maggots are on another level. And we also spent the entirety of the last summer and coming into fall and still into the spring redoing our backyard. And we're gonna be big plant parents. We've got a lot of new planting and foliage to take care of in the backyard. So it's been on our mind. We were scoping it out, looking it out. I talked about it in a vlog. And then the Food Cycler by Vitamix reached out and they sent us a machine. We have been using it over the last few weeks and it is incredible. I'm about to show you the magic and I'm very happy and very grateful to say that this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Food Cycler. So I'm going to show you the Food Cycler in a moment, but just in Cole's notes, the Food Cycler takes your food waste and turns it into odorless, nutrient-rich, fabulous soil fertilizer. And depending obviously on your living situation and what you'd be using it for, there's multiple ways that you can use the fertilizer that it creates. But for us, this is going to be a beautiful way to remove the odor and, and the mess from our food waste. And it's gonna be a beautiful way for us to add nutrients and love into our soil outside in our backyard. So last night I took the liberty of um, doing this the night before so that I could show you the after. So I'm gonna insert the clip of me loading up the food cycler bucket with all of our food waste while I was doing our meal prep. And for us, we don't actually have any like counter space for the food cycler in our kitchen. It also doesn't fit under our sink, but what we do is we keep the bucket under the sink. So while we're doing any cooking or meal prepping, we just have the bucket on hand and then we can take the bucket and put it into the actual machine to do its overnight processing because it takes about eight hours to do a full cycle so we just kind of do it overnight and in the morning you wake up to beautiful fertilizer so here we are in the morning and I'm gonna show you what our food waste looks like today so if you come with me into the laundry room this is our little corner where we are keeping our goods we've got our vacuum here plugged in where the outlet is and then we bought a little shelf to put our food cycler onto so here she is this is the Vitamix food cycler in all her glory so I'm gonna insert the before of the bucket and now here is the after It's just crumbly, dry little bits that was once all our food waste. Be fertilized, dear planting. 
And that's the food cycler. That's how easy it is. Honestly, it's amazing. I don't understand how it crunches up the little bones and the shrimp tails, but the science is magical. And it's completely removed the nasty from the food waste for us, which is, honestly, it's insane. It's been a little miracle bucket that we've been having on hand. So I, I take the bucket and I just put it under the sink. And while I meal prep and do my cooking, I add all my food bits and scraps in there. And then when the bucket's full and ready, I plop it in the machine and it spits out magic for the garden. So this has been a magical experience. Thank you so much to everyone for your insights on these machines because it has really, really been a game changer for us in the kitchen and in our food waste life. So I'm gonna link the Food Cycler in the description box down below. We have been loving it in our household and thank you so much to Food Cycler for bringing this magical machine into our lives. Okay, back upstairs. Uh, I thought he was installing the curtains, like the actual curtains themselves, but he in fact was just installing the rails. Tracks, rails, you get it. Uh, so they're installed, that's nice. I uh, still gotta put the curtains up, but unfortunately that's gonna have to be a task for tomorrow So we'll continue this vlog tomorrow uh, But for now I need to get ready because like I said I'm head to an event tonight and by tonight I mean this afternoon because we have to leave so early to get there So let's put some makeup on this face shall we? I'm starting to have concerns for how I've pinned this hair I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Uh, Let's do a quick little makeup shall we? I've been continuing the adventures of shopping my stash and I pulled out a few other foundations that I kind of just wanted to go through before I pick anything else up, which I definitely don't need to. Like I've got enough foundation to last my entire life at this point if I so chose. So I grabbed a few. <laughs> Honestly, like sometimes I just forget how foundations apply. Like I look at it and I'm like, I know I like that, but I kind of forgot. So I got Shiseido, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, House Labs. I also have the Little Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Sculpting Palette. But I pulled out the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup because this one was kind of a fabulous shade match for me right now. And it gives that really nice, natural, hydrated glow to the skin, which I love so much. And especially if I want my skin to be looking healthy and supple for long periods of time, I like to use something like this, which is nice. It's either that or matte, but my skin is just very dry right now. When you're transitioning in skincare and using retinol and things, sometimes it's nice to just have the more <laughs> hydrated option. And you know what's funny? I was going to put a tan on last night, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this has definitely <laughs> been the longest time that I have gone without putting a tan on. Usually for me when the winter blues hit, which it has been hitting greatly these last couple weeks. That seasonal depression though, it ain't no joke. Uh, yeah, usually I love to put a tan on just to make me feel something, to feel some warmth and whatnot. But I've just really been embracing the pale and this is like the longest amount of time that I've ever gone with my pale embracing. I just feel like I always look more sad and tired when I'm left to my own pale life. Someone left a great tip being like, why don't you scrape the sides of your Makeup by Mario contour into the middle? So I, I just did that with my tweezers. I scraped it into the middle. So now we can see how much product we actually have left, which is great and quite a lot. So thanks for the tip. I'm just gonna plop that on. Oop. I feel like it's just, it's just gonna be one of those days. Lip and cheek glow, baby. Lip and cheek glow. You already know why. Like, I'm sorry, it's just, it's just the most beautiful flattering blush in my personal humble opinion. Continue, Tower 28, obviously. Guys, I've just been breezing through my makeup here because I don't want to run out of time. And I'm also scared that my hair is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna need to touch it up. So I did Anywhere Caffeine, Artist Pencil on the Lips with the Charlotte Tilbury. And then on my cheeks, I actually did a little powder blush on top, the Ambient Euphoric Fusion blush. I just did a little dusting of that because it's kind of, kind of a similar tone. And unfortunately, which someone has been kindly pointing out, uh, I, get, I have bald spots on my cheeks. So sometimes when I'm using a deeper blush, it will really show up. So I just need to like press a powder <laughs> blush onto it, which is very annoying. Yes, I do have bald spots on my cheeks. It's very bizarre. And it's it, there's literally, literally nothing to be done about it. I just did the Victoria Beckham highlight. And now I'm doing the Estee Lauder mascara because I don't want any smudging. This is the smudge proof mascara. I'm feeling like whatever about this makeup look right now. But it could also be because I haven't taken my hair out yet. So let's see, <laughs> let's see, let's take it out. <laughs> oh. 
Ugh, I'm not sure what happened, it's just like right here. Yeah, this side just went a little wonky. This side's cute though. Oh yeah, someday we'll get it. Ugh, ugh, ugh. What the f The dress code said cocktail, so here we go. This was my my take on a cocktail dress because if I bought something short and shimmery, first of all, I'm not into that life, but this very simple, elegant black dress I can absolutely wear again. I have a pair of little old Zara boots on and that's my outfit. Jewelry, I do not know yet what I'm gonna wear. I need some earring. Maybe I'll do my gold bangles over the sleeve. I do love a good over the sleeve moment. My only issue with outfits like these are that I get, I get really flustered because I can't move. I'm like trapped in it, even though it is so nice. The moment is nice. I think that's why I like the one shoulder tops because you can still move your body. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little bangle moment over the sleeve, which I think is very chic and very pretty. I don't know where my other jewelry is, but earrings, honestly, I think, hmm, I don't know. Wearing my Amazon earrings to a Tiffany event. Love that for me. <laughs> Stunning. So there's my look. We are ready. I would just like everyone to know that this is how I'm driving in town. I just, I don't even have an umbrella. And it's pouring right now. I hate it. different from the the last clip but I need to catch you up on the last couple of days I've just been having a little emo episode and I needed to wash my face this was my my eyes I think my mascara is expired and it started to flake into my eyeballs and I needed to swiftly promptly remove my face of makeup uh, and I just put a mask on so that's what we're doing right now that's why I'm in a robe L O L L O. okay so first of all Friday was the Tiffany event and they were having their Lunar New Year celebration. It was really cool. I've never been to a Tiffany event. Saw some old pals, met the Tiffany team, tried on some beautiful jewels, the necklace that I put on. I found out after, thanks to you guys in the DMs, that that is what Emily Blunt wore to the Golden Globes. And I was like, you're needing to tell me that this necklace that was on my chest, my chest of Giles, was just on Emily Blunt's chest of Giles? Yes, yes please, it was, it was beautiful. Um, I have to say though, I was sad because I, spent all that time curling my hair, setting in the rollers, whatever, to have forgotten my umbrella. And I got absolutely soaked. I walked into Tiffany and I was like, <laughs> my hair is just a frizzy mess and all the photos, it's just my, my sopping wet hair that had then been dried. Oh, it was just, you know, it was fine. It was fun, but it was just one of those days, you know? Then, then I drive home, okay? I get home and I'm getting ready for bed what have you, I fill up my water bottle, I'm getting everything ready to walk upstairs. And this thing, when it's full of water, that's no small amount of water in this, this little bit right here. Um, anyway, I slipped and I dropped my water bottle and it fell on my toe. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like people are thinking that I'm being dramatic and I know that I can speak dramatically, but I hope that when I say to you, it was the most painful experience I've ever felt in my life. I have had multiple surgeries. My appendix has ruptured. I have broken bones. I have, I have been in pain. This was the most painful experience of my life, that, that moment. I simply dropped to the floor, sobbing, squealing a little bit. Dan was like, oh my God, what just happened? Thinking I'm dying, which kind of, I was really in my mind. <laughs> Um, and it, it was just one of those things where you know you have an initial like sting of pain. This wasn't going away. The sting was stinging and it was staying and I was just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and it was just right on my toenail. Oh my God. And so it was throbbing. I put ice on it, whatever. I come upstairs, I make my little Instagram story and then I go to bed thinking, okay, I took Advil, I put ice on it, whatever. Nay, I woke up in the middle of the night to like 
excruciating pain and I had a little bit of a panic because I was like, is my toe broken? Do I have to go to the hospital right now? And you know you live in Canada where, listen, the healthcare discussion is, is a, a very large topic and I'm meaning this in jest, but I say this to my fellow Canadians where you know that your greatest fear is going to the hospital because you know that when you go to the hospital, you are going to sit there. If you're going to emergency in the middle of the night, you're gonna be sitting there I'm gonna say 10 to 15 hours, because the last time in the summer I went to the emergency, I sat for 13 hours, and it's just very consistent. Even when my appendix ruptured, I sat there for nine hours with a ruptured appendix. Like, if you are going to emergency room, you are waiting. <laughs> so that was my panic. My panic in the middle of the night was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I, I can't, I don't have time to go to the emergency room right now, I can't deal with this wait time, whatever, but it was, it was wild, the pain was wild. Wild for a, a singular little toe. So anyway, basically, um, I still have yet to go to the hospital. It is three days later, it's Monday right now. And for the last two days, I was absolutely bedridden. Like, I didn't leave the couch. Dan brought everything to me. I couldn't move. I, like, when I had to stand up to go pee, it was like excruciating pain on my foot. I just sat there icing it, putting it on and off of ice, taking Advil, spraying like a biofreeze, muscle help, whatever. And so many people in the DMs were telling me all these horror stories. People were telling me how they had their toes amputated because they dropped something on it. Telling me that I need to go drill into my toenail to release the pressure and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this right now. I just need this to be done. <laughs> I need this pain to be over a little and I need a family doctor. Um, anyway, so the state of my foot right now, on day three, the, the weekend is past us, but I can't really walk still. And it's a very bizarre feeling because the rest of me is perfectly fine. Normally if I'm like sick, you know, you're kind of all down and you're tired or whatever. Body's functioning, brain is here, I'm ready to rock, and my toe is just throbbing. <laughs> it's this one little mini speck. And even as we sit here, I'm keeping my foot up because, you know, in like five, 10 minute spurts, it's fine, and then it'll really just start to throb again. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm feeling a little bit down about it and I need to end this vlog and I should have posted this vlog today we ended up posting our other video today instead and I just want to apologize because I've been so I've been so happy starting the new year and doing the hot girl Winter series and I was doing my yoga challenge and then it's just these silly little accidents that can just completely throw your life for a loop for a hot minute and I know I know that anyone is like oh my god she's being so dramatic it's just a toe but like I literally can't walk right now I can't do my workouts I can't get my steps I can't do my yoga challenge all these things that I've been so happy about and have been keeping me going and getting back into my routine for the new year like I've just been feeling so good and this was just like a hard and I just wanted to share this because I do share all of the good happy here's my routine here's all the things we're doing for proper winter um but just know that sometimes you just can't you can't do anything and you just have to sit there and recover as as silly as a toe may be i am literally sitting here with my leg elevated and uh and just waiting for it to go away so lol also about my yoga challenge because i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i'm just gonna give it a little pause and then i'll just start and just finish the 30 days whatever curious to know your thoughts on that but yeah, for all my people who just have these random silly things happen, so many of you send me messages of similar things happening, being like, oh my god, I dropped a weight on my foot. Like, you guys get it. You know the pain, and something like this can be so, so ridiculous and sound so ridiculous. Like, I can't imagine if I had to go into the office to work, I'd be like, hi, boss, lol, I can't walk because I <laughs> busted my toe with my water bottle. Lol, bye. Here's my unpaid sick day. Thank you so much. Like, the, it's just bonkers when, when these little things happen, but that's that's that. So stark contrast from our little fun Friday day in the life little event moment. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I just want to do my leg day. <laughs> you know when you're, when you're not able to move your body as normal, you just really appreciate the days when you do get to. So it's just... That's how I feel right now.
On the plus side, I had some good movie time. I watched Interstellar for the first time, which is a movie I've really been wanting to watch for so long. I don't know why I never did see it. It was great, fabulous. I also watched Saltburn. Felt like I pretty much watched the entire movie via TikTok for you page because everyone was talking about Saltburn and I felt like I was the last person to have seen it. A lot of people were pooping on it being like, oh my gosh, this is too creepy. This is so, ah, this is crazy. And even though there were the creepy parts for sure. I really enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed the metaphor. I loved the art of it. I loved the story at play. And I also thought the ending was great and a total plot twist and I was not expecting it at all. After seeing everybody's reviews, I was like, oh, nobody talked about the ending and how good the ending was. It was a little wrap up of that movie. So Saltburn, really enjoyed. And that's pretty much all I have to report from the weekend. So I'm just, um, I'm just a little mopey gal over here with me and my black toe. I keep saying toe, what I mean to say is toenail. It fully, fully hit my toenail. I don't want to put a picture of my feet. I know everyone's like, oh, post a picture, but I feel like that's like a, a thing. Like people would be so grossed out by that, but my toenail is black and it just, the point smacked right onto my toenail and it's, you can tell it's some kind of blood blister of sorts. So it's not cute and it also just won't stop throbbing, so. That's been fun. And that's a little update for you. Sorry for this little random collection of content and to everyone who saw my Instagram debacle. Thanks for joining along. Everyone was like, toe gate is the new lime gate. It's the new margarita burn. And I just think that's so funny. Uh, I love you guys and I, and I appreciate you joining me and finding some humor in our little accidents. To those of you who have stayed till the end of this video, thank you for letting me moan. Uh, thank you for letting me tell you about my hashtag toe in detail and just know that, you know, sometimes life throws you a little curveball and you just gotta roll with the punches and that's... Me and my toe will be here in recovery and hopefully I will be joining you back for hot girl winter fun very soon. And tennis and yoga and everything and just... <laughs> LOL. Uh, thanks for being here for watching, y'all. I'll see you all very soon for a new video. And I love you all so much. Bye!